hello guys welcome back to another exciting blender tutorial today i'm going to show you how to rig your character complete in blender we are going to use the add-on called auto rig pro this add-on has gotten a lot of new features that will make the rigging easier than before so i'll show you step by step how you can use that to rig your character and after that i'll give you a certain add-on that is free you can check the link in the description you can use to give your character all the 52 facial blend shape keys so watch to the end so you know how you can do that first i'm going to select my character here you can see i have the body segment so you have to make sure you make yours like how i'm going to do so now i'm going to hide this and show you the inside of the head we have this mouth part i'm going to hide this and we have the tank uh, and the teeth you can see it has been joined together like this so i'm going to show you how you can separate it press tab go to edit mode and now you can press l to highlight this if you go to selection you can go to link by material or here shop uv and now you can select them all of them so here choose by normals and it will select all of them like this press p and choose by selection this will separate the part we have been selected let's go to edit mode again and i'm going to separate the lower teeth so press l p by selection and now we have got the the upper and the lower teeth and we also get the tank separate now to make sure you have the eyes the right and the left eye also separate like that so this is the basic need, things you need before we continue to rig. So now let's proceed to the rigging. Let's go to the auto rig tab from here and I'm going to hide the hair because I don't want the hair to be to be deformed. So I'm going to hide that part and select everything. And let's go to here, smart rig. Make sure your character has been selected, has been highlighted like this, and click on Get Selection Object. We are going to rig full body, so let's get OK. Now for the neck, place it on the next side, and for the chin, also goes to the chin, shoulder, also will come here. Let's go to the rest, also will come to the side, spine, also go to here and the last one ankles also comes to this part after you are done we are going to do the fascia one so let's click on add fascia i'm going to hide the hair again since it just so here it's mirror on this side so we can just move it and it will mirror You can press L to highlight and select all of the link one. So if I see you don't link, you can go here and choose by scene and it will select them. So I'm going to scale this on X axis to align with the eyes. And this one is all good to the ears. Yes, this one goes to the chin. So I'll place it for the chin. Press L and let's select the link mouth. Let's place it for Now, after we have done, you can see we have a new tab here, which is not available in, in the old Autoric add-on. So with the new feature, you can, you can separate. We have the option to choose the tank and the teeth, the upper and the lower one. So here, since we have the eye separate, we can go to two. Let's go back to object mode. Now, when you select the eyes, you can see this is the left eye. So just click on this and it will select that one. For the tank, just select the upper tank and choose. Oh, sorry, for the teeth, select the upper teeth. Let's go to teeth and choose two. And this one for the upper and this one is for the lower and let's select the tank and choose the tank after that let's unhide everything click on ok 
and it will go back here again the next thing is here is we are going to click on go done our data has finished generated the rig you can see everything match perfect except this part so it's just easy let's go to top view and we can just simply do it so let's check every part and see if everything is good now you can see everything is good after that you can click on match to rig if you want your character to be in a status of cartoonish you can choose this bendy bones or trace so let's click on match to rig now the rig has been generated so you can go to post mode and select and move it now you can see has moving back like this that means our cutter has perfect rig let's go back to object mode press a select everything with your rig selected last and let's go to scan and here let's leave the default settings and click on bind it has been finished binding let's go to post mode and see if everything is nice So you can see everything is working perfectly. So add subdivision and let's go to here and set shade to smooth. Let's press alt plus each or let's select the hair part. This is it. And here, visibility, wrap alt and hide it. Right now, when you go to post mode and you move the head, it will move along. So you can see all here is working. So let's select the hair and shift select the rig, go to post mode and select the bone head, the hair dot S and control plus P and choose bone. Keep the transformation. Now when you move it, you can see now the hair is moving along. now everything is perfect so let's move on to another steps so here i'm going to show you how to add all the 53 so here i'm going to show you how to add all the 52 facial blend shape keys to this character when you select the character body and you go to the shape keys here you can see we don't have any shape key because auto rig don't do that so i'm going to close this and create a new collection and call it shape keys first let's go to edit preference and add-on i'm going to store an add-on this is called the shape keys i will leave this in the description below so and you click it and make sure you install it and it will appear here there is the add-on here the animation tools and the transfer animation Now the next thing we are going to do is let's go to far and link located okay, here you have this also so this is called 52 plus shape keys so double click on it go to collection so the next thing is double click on the auto rig and let's move it on this side since we link this we are, let's go to object and let's go to here go to library override and click on make it and this will remove it now when you go to your rig here you can see there's animations on it and you can see we have all these keyframes here each keyframe represents shape key so you can see it is moving here now we are going to copy this animation to this character here so what you can do is let's go to here the transfer animation you can see we have source rig and the target rig just select your rig and this code is rig 
this rig and the one is having the animation is called rig.003 the source rig is the rig that has the animation which is the rig 003 and the target rig is the rig that is going to receive the animation and that one is called rig after that that click called transfer animation and ok now we can see our character is doing all the 52 shape keys here so this is good now after this we are going to convert all this into shape keys right now when you go, we select your character body and you go to here the vertex data we don't have any shape key here before we save or we're going to turn it into shape keys we have one thing to do here first let's select the eyebrows the eyelid and let's select the mouth the upper and the lower teeth and the tongue so make sure all of them has been selected Shift, select the body here we can press ctrl plus j to join all of them together if you want to separate them you can go to tab and go to edit mode press p and choose loose bad parts right now the animation is still playing here and have all the shape keys now let's go and convert this one into shape keys after this we have another animation to see When you select a character rig and you highlight it, each frame here, each face key here represents shape keys. So you can save each of these as a shape key. So let's go back to object mode and select our character. So here we have blink on frame 10. So if you want this to be a shape key, just click on save us and give it a name and this is going to be called blink or you can call this loose and this is the left eye so then i hit on ok let's go to our another like here and want to save this as shape key just and choose the name you want so i have to set all the key and uh, the names for them and just save it So after this, what you have to do next is just select the rig and go to here and just click on clean rig. This will delete all the keys and reset your post for you. After all this, when you select your character body and you go to your shape key, you can just use the sliding bar or the volume to have that shape key. You can blend multiple shape keys together and this is awesome because this will save a lot of time when you are animating.